Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to go over the importance of OBS profiles and why you should be using them to make your streaming destinations super, super easy. So let's go. Folks, Asia the CEO here. Just first time stopping by the channel. Thanks for stopping by. And on this channel, we focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And if you like what we're doing here, consider becoming a patron or a YouTube member by clicking one of the links down below. All right, folks. So we are fresh back from vacation and we're just dropping some more OBS knowledge on you. We're going to do some refreshers, but some really important ones to help you out. So unfortunately, um, Unfortunately, tomorrow I have to um, run a live stream for a funeral. And then also, unfortunately, my aunt and godmother um, just passed today. So um, I was doing this video to help with this, but I didn't think this was going to be hitting home like it is. But hey, you know, we're taking it all in stride and we just going to move forward. So I am here over in my church's live stream and let's go ahead to OBS and explain some stuff here to make sure we all understand this stuff. So your profile is pretty much almost kind of like a your user account in your operating system, whether that's Windows, whether that's Mac, whether it's Linux, meaning that all of the settings that you set inside of OBS are going to be stored in this profile. So right now, if you want to say you want to um, set your resolution, you want to set your audio, you want to set where you're going, um, the platform that you're streaming to, your streaming key, that is all saved in your profile. And that is what's powerful. So here is my churches. And I have four profiles set up right now. Our Antioch one is going to Vimeo and then on our Vimeo account is going to our website, Facebook, YouTube, Restream. Yeah, that's where our main one goes. That's what we normally do on Sundays when we're live streaming. Now, we also have a Facebook one because it's been times that YouTube has gone down and sometimes Vimeo has gone down. So I made a profile that points all of our settings to go specifically to Facebook only. Um, I also have a testing. This goes to our um, group that's private just for our media ministry. It's like our media ministry account so that we can test live streaming and we're the only ones that can see it because no one is friends with that account. Um, you know, you can do that with different ways. But then we also have that started off this video. I have another one that is funeral. So way that is, you know, we used to do a lot of live streams and a lot. Sometimes people wanted the live stream to be private, which I can totally understand. And we used to make different um, URLs and give it out to the families and everything like that. And honestly, it made it kind of um, an issue. And it looks like I'm having an issue still with our website, our SSL certificate that I need to fix. Um, but say we go here to our website. Traditionally, people can go here to watch. And as you see, I made a subtitle here that when we stream to the this profile, our Antioch one, our default one, it is going to go to our services link. So it will stream to here. And this is the one that engages Vimeo, well, this is Vimeo, goes to Vimeo and then is restreamed or multicasted to all our other platforms at the same time. That's what we do every Sunday. But to make it easier, we also have this dedicated funerals page that is set up. The, it looks almost the exact same way, but it's a private funeral stream. It is not being rebroadcast or anything. So instead of always changing where you're going to be streaming to, that's what you can use your profiles to. So again, I'm logged into our system. We have a funeral coming up tomorrow. So I'm just going to switch over to funeral. And just like that, all of my scenes, all of this stuff did not change. The only thing that changed 
is where I'm streaming to. So you're not going to see it, but the key is completely different than the other one. So if I open up where we're going, I'm going to open up my Vimeo link here. So when we, the different link that we engaged, see, here's our regular live stream right here for our church services, but then the, our other one is here. So if I go inside of this one, it's unlisted, so you can't go to Vimeo and see it. And if I go to destinations, as you can see, all of our destinations are turned off. So when we stream to this one, change our profile in OBS to the funeral one, it engages that streaming key that is not being rebroadcasted. But if I go here to our regular streaming that we do every Sunday, See, we have all our destinations turned on, our restream, our Facebook, which goes to YouTube and all that other stuff like that. So that makes it really easy instead of having to change our streaming key all the time that you can just simply change the profile. So let's go to this other one again. I go to testing now and let's see where we're streaming to now. Now it's going to, I thought I had one to where it's completely different. Yeah, let's go to Facebook. Now, that's the only thing I changed. Let's go back to our settings, go to our stream, and see that is what's been changed. Everything else is the same. Um, I have, we're streaming at 1080p, 60, and everything like that. So let's go ahead and switch back to Antioch. Go to settings, and we go to stream again. Now, see, we're back here at Vimeo. Um, and I'm actually un. I'm going I'm to blur everything except for the last four characters in it so you can see that it's different. So you see right here, 9808. Now let's go ahead and go back to our funeral one. Let's go to settings and let's look at the last four characters. And you see now it's 7A72. So this is how you can change everything. And this is very, very powerful. So, and I use this as well too, even when I'm doing my streams. So when I'm doing a Q&A, I have a profile that's set up that goes directly to our Q&A. I set up a new profile that now goes to a private stream that goes to my Patreons as well as members only on YouTube. That's a new Q&A that we're starting up at the beginning of the year. And there's other ways you can do this. I also have another profile here because I haven't gamed on my Sir Trigolot channel and I don't know how long, but I use that, which points to my Twitch and all the stuff like that. So instead of having to juggle all of those keys, you can lock your key to your profile and it makes it really easy to switch. And especially we always talk about multiple streams of ministry as well too. This is a good failover that if any of your other platforms fall, even if you're using a restream or a caster or whatever multi streaming service, you can make a profile that individually goes to each platform. So say restream fails, and you just want to stream to Facebook. Boom, you got it. Oh, Facebook and everything else has failed. I have a profile that just goes to YouTube. Oh, that failed. I got one that goes just to Twitch. I got one that goes to Daily Motion. I got, you know, you can make as many as you want. So it's really, really simple to make. So if I come in here again and want to just make one, I'm just going to copy what I already have. And I'll say, let's go back to our Antioch one. And I'm just going to make a duplicate. And it's going to copy all of my settings. And I'll just say, this is um, testing. No, let's just do YouTube. Because we need to have one. So now, I would just come in here. In my stream, I'm going to change this to YouTube. And thankfully, they've changed this to where I can link to this now. I'm just going to link to this and go to our church's page. Now I can close this and now we're linked to our YouTube page. Let's go to our settings here. I mean, excuse me, video. And we're still at 1080, 60. I want to keep that. And now if anything happens and it has the chat built into here as well too, which is kind of cool. I'll actually turn that off because I don't need that. But now if anything happens and we want to stream to YouTube, 
All I have to do is now change to that profile. So we have an Antioch, which is our default. I might want to rename that. But then we have Facebook. We have YouTube. Probably going to make a Twitch one as well, too. We have Funeral and Testing. You can make as many of these as you want because, again, this is not your scene collection. Your, my scenes um, will you know, be maintained across all your profile. Your profile is going to be mainly your audio settings, your destination of where you're streaming to, your resolution, your frame rate. Like I said, your audio, which mics are enabled, disabled, your output settings. What are you using? Are you using software? Are you using hardware encoding? What's your recording settings? Um, your general settings. That is what your profile is. Just like your Windows user account, um, OS X user account, Linux user account. It's saved to the particular profile or user that you're using. So hopefully that helps. I really think this is something beneficial that will help you. Even if you don't use it, I really recommend because of our platforms have had issues. It's tech. It's not always going to work 100%. It's a very good way to have some redundancy that if your standard Restream or something that you're using that goes to multiple platforms, have each one as an individual and it will quickly allow you to cut over to a different um, individual streaming source or something else if something happens. Again, all of it is under profile. Really simple. Pick one, hit duplicate, give it a different name and then make the settings for it. And there you go. And I need to make sure I switch this back to funeral for tomorrow. So if you like this type of content, appreciate the like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. I want to thank all my patrons and YouTube members for making this video possible. Their names are on the screen right now. And you too can become a patron for as little as $1 a month or become a YouTube member by clicking the join button down below. No matter which way you pick folks, you're helping us train media ministries all over the world. Thanks for watching folks. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video later. <laughs>